Who? How does he sign his name? That's how he signs his name. Who? Yes. All I'm trying to find out is what's the guy's name on first base? No, what is on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who is on first? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, don't change the players around. I'm not changing anybody. Now, take it easy. Now, what's the guy's name on first base? What's on second? To put it mildly, the personalities and the character of those who are Doctor Who fans is unique. One aspect of that is humor. For in the fraternity of Doctor Who, all of the jokes are inside. Do you know how many companions it takes to screw in a light bulb? No, how many? Three. One to scream, one to faint, and one to run for help. <laughs> a lot of it is, yes. It's like all the Rassilon jokes that you've been seeing around the convention. Rassilon was sort of, I would say, to the Time Lords what uh, Moses would have been to the ancient Hebrews. And, of course, it's a running gag, like one of the great relics uh, of, of Gallifrey are things like the rod of Rassilon and the sash of Rassilon. And as the shows developed, it went into the black scrolls of Rassilon and the tomb of Rassilon, and it got to be... And so and the fans have turned it into a running gag. What have we got now? The sneakers of Rassilon, the dirty toothbrush of Rassilon. This has been going on all over. Some of the signs we have um, right now, if... Um, some of our staff had been allowed to really go crazy on this. This would have been the news team of Rassilon. Guess what? We've raised $1,000. In all, this gathering of Who fans, in addition to raising a little hell, raised over $2,000 for the Sudden Infant Death Syndrome charity. That in itself says a lot about these people who travel great distances and spend their hard-earned dollars in pursuit of a television show. Mike Bledsoe is the developer of a role-playing game based on Doctor Who. It's people who wish to be creative but don't have the time or the energy to be creative. And so they are taking someone else's creativity and using it to their own purposes. I mean, it sounds a little voyeuristic, but I guess it might be. I like coming to conventions because I get to meet with people who are like-minded is the uh, the phrase I like to use. People who think the same way that I do. People that uh, I can talk to about various things. And it doesn't always have to be Doctor Who. But I know that these people like the similar things to me to be here. Or they wouldn't have come all this way. I had somebody once describe them as a lot of yuppies. <laughs> which is partly true. But there's also uh, young adolescents. There are also older people. Um, they're all ages, all types, all backgrounds. Uh, they're mostly well-educated people, but for the most part, I think they all see something in common in, in the doctor. It's, um, he's a larger-than-life hero. He's one of the last of the great super romantic heroes, and I think that appeals to a lot of people um, very greatly. Well, the basic fan would be someone who cares deeply about something. It's usually the, the program that they're interested in, but they are above and beyond the person who just watches the program and says, oh, well, that's nice, I'll watch it next week. The Doctor Who fan is someone who takes the time and the energy to become more involved in the program by getting to know the background of the actors, going to conventions, buying merchandise from the program. And some people call them a little silly, some people call them uh, odd and not normal from the rest of the people, but not really. I think that little extra something that they have that puts them above the person who just watches the program is something special and should be encouraged. Uh, sure, we have to have a good time, yes. But, uh, you know, we want to do more than that. We want to help out. And the philosophy of the doctor as the character is to make the universe a better and safer place to be. And therefore, the philosophy of anyone who is a true fan of that character and what he believes in is to make our world the best place that it can be. And that doesn't mean just watching the videos and just going to the conventions, but working outside, helping people and helping the things that we believe in. And so, Panopticon New Orleans is over.
For the moment anyway, fantasies of time, space, and superhuman heroes must give way to the more temporal concerns of money, mileage, and the realities of everyday life. That is, until these fans tune in next time for the next adventure of Doctor Who.